Hello and welcome to the second, the following part in our Android uh, Kotlin Studio, Android Studio Kotlin tutorial for programming. Today, in this part, I will explain how to connect our visual side to our program side, okay, to our main activity. First of all, because all of this one, each one of these visual elements are are an object, they're like an object. We should be aware that we are we can assign variables, okay. The ID that you're going to put here is the name of that specific visual object. For example, text, view, title. Okay. If I do this, you will ask me if I want to update all of them in all the XML. And you will always put yes. I wanted to update everything because the moment that these ones depend on each other, yes, it, it what it does. It may it, it also changes its for it, they depend on each other using their names. So if you change it, as you can see here, button of TV title, this is button of image view. The moment I change the image view name, it will update all the visual constraints. Image view logo, for example. And yes, we will update everything. Button main, let's call it. And yes, we'll do that the same. So now I gave names, my own I, variable names to these ones. And why do I do that? Because just like any other object in a code, I want to access these visual elements. I want to be able to change things here. And to, to do that, we always have to program it from here. Okay? Because it's linked to the XML, we are auto, automatically I have access to the variables on the visual side. And in which will look like this. If I remember well, I gave the first to the title to the text area, I gave the name text view title. You see, it starts already giving me, it, it's suggesting me the name already. And I can see that it tells me TV title from activity main that XML. I can even, let's try to expand this for a sec. Okay, here, so we can see. TV title from activity main that XML for activity. Under the extension, it's of type text view. That's the name of the class. That's the name of the object variable. That's the name of the class. If I put an enter, it imports it from here. Yeah, it imports it. And I can work with it. Okay. Now, if I put a, a dot and I put a set text, for example, which is a, va it's a function that belongs to that object. Okay, just like we seen with the human and the female, it's has its own functions. This one is on, has its own functions. If I put set text and I add here a specific text, test text uh, so now I'm forcing that when the app executes, when the app runs, it will set the text to be this is my app. So instead of showing welcome to my app, it will say this is my app because I'm because priority is given to the code, not to the to the visual elements. Okay, it has priority. So if I execute this, instead of showing welcome to my app, it will show this is my app. This is the first interaction with, that we have between the code and the XML. Okay, what I want to do with all this, my idea is that I want to do something that when I press the user presses the button, it will change the text up there. Okay. The only way to do it is to define a property called on click here. Okay. And add a function from here that can be called from here. I will see it right now with you. I will add a function in the main activity. It has to be in the main activity that it's called bottom clicked, which has a view as a, as any of a, as an attribute variable. It's in red because I have to import it. I, I press control space, show the hint, and then I put an enter and it will import it. Okay. This function, I added it inside the class activity, okay, the main class activity. It's important because function as always can only be created inside classes. Okay. And now that I've created this, I have to link it to the bottom. I will go to the activity main. I will go to the on click. And now, as you can see, it shows me, it suggested me a function that comes from the main activity. Why? Again, because they are linked. This one and this one are linked. So it finds it and it can detect it. 
from now on each time i press the button and you will see it turn from gray to color because now it's being used by so now from from now on each time i press the button this code here whatever i write here will be executed and what exactly i want to write there well i will do this i will copy this and i will force that each time i press the button i change the text to this is my app okay or you just pressed a button okay let's save let's execute and let's see how it works because i'm not setting this anymore it will start with welcome to my app like it was before because this is commented then if i press the button well it should have changed it it didn't okay this is a problem that I'm not sure why it's doing it. Just a second. Let me try it again. Okay. Just a second. So the small mistake I've done was that I think I defined the on click in a different visual element in this one or in this one. You can define on click on any visual element, not only on buttons. You will see that the on click belongs to many others. In the button one, in the button, you have to add the on click. As you can see, the on click has to be related to the button. I'm not sure which one I put it. The, I think I was mistaken. I put it in some other place. Okay. Now, as you can see again, this will go back to 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 be with the right color and in theory each time the button is clicked this will be executed let's try it again and now here you will see welcome to my app and when i press button you just press the button now it changes okay again you can do many things here you can do ifs whiles you can add whatever you want to create your own components the idea is that you will have to start programming your different elements that we will have here to connect and interact to the user because the idea here eventually is that we wanted to interact with the user okay um what more well it is interesting maybe to interact with the text it gives me for example i can add here i will ex take out the the constraints of this one okay and the constraint is this one as here. Okay, I'm gonna release it. Why? Because I wanted to add something here in the middle. I will add a text area, okay? A plain text area, for example. The plain text area will be a, will allow me to add text to write, the user writes something here, okay? And what I will do is, again, related to its, add its constraints, and this one I have to, also add the constraint we lost okay now we will have this like that i don't know why it's so it went downwards but okay and i will give it a name edit text because what i will do is interact name yes because i want this to be a name okay now by default it says name in the text i don't want it but what I will, I, will, I want is to add a place, placeholder, I think it is, or hint, I think it's hint, and say, write your name. Okay, it's a hint, we'll put it in gray. If I execute this right now, what, how it will look like, it's like this. You always have to keep executing and, and so you can keep testing how it looks, how it's looking like. I mean, it's not the best because the icon is above it. I think there is a small mistake here that didn't, I didn't like. I mean, I can, I think I can, you can increase this, the distance here, maybe to a hundred. Or you can change the distance manually if you don't feel that it's good enough. You can always try to put like 50, for example, okay? Give it more distance, okay? Now, if I execute it, Okay, now it's, there's a bit of data. If I press on this with your mouse or with your hand, you'll be able to write whatever you want, okay? And then if you press on the arrow bow, downwards, it will hide the keyboard. So I can press the button, okay? What I will do is now connect all of these things. I will do something like this. I will store, 
in a temporary variable the text that I will have from the edit text. Okay. Um, okay, it's not really offering me the option. Let me see how, what was the name we gave it. Et. Okay. Et name. Et name. Okay. Et name. Okay. Dot get text. What am I doing? Or just well, or yeah, the get text. Which is the same as doing this. Okay. What am I doing now is that each time I press the button, I first store in that variable the value that the edit text has its in its written. Okay. Then I use that name, that that text, and I put and I'm going to add it to this following code. I'm gonna say hi. Whatever I write here, okay, whatever I write down here. And then I'm gonna say welcome. Or even you know what? Even welcome and the name. Okay, so if I do this, what am I doing is that I'm reading the, the text that I that the user just wrote on the edit text, and then I'm I'm writing it back to him on the text area. So if I write here Yoni. And I take this down and I write and I press on button, it will write hello, you're welcome. You see, it is a complete, like, it, it is a very complete representation of the interaction you can have with the user. Either you can write a user and a password, a login and whatever, and a clear text or whatever, press here, and it will change something, it will do something here that eventually later on you will answer to him. And tell him welcome or everything goes well the login went okay and stuff like that that's how we work in in Kotlin and I always encourage everyone to keep looking in the internet for more stuff because there's a billion tutorials on this area okay so see you until next part